Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for all your views and things so far. I really appreciate it. Um, this is something new for me. I'm gonna do like a weekly vlog, so a bit of filming Monday to Sunday, just to try out what it's like to do something less scripted and less sort of formal, like my sort of sit down in front of the camera ones. I'm also gonna do some videos with other people, so sort of collaborative ones, so look out for those. Um, but this is just to show you things that I'm doing in my life, to do with ethical fashion, to do with my work, and just general bits and bobs. Um, this is Monday, and I'm just having a bit of a chill at home because I just came back from a weekend in Manchester where I did lots of walking around and lots of sunbathing, so I'm pretty sunburnt actually. Um, Jack's off to work, so I am getting some work done, firing out some emails, and now I'm just off to the post office to pick up a parcel um, and there's some bits and bobs that I'm reviewing for my blog and for a website I write for called Fashion Fix Daily. Um, I'll let you know what I get and do some unboxing when we get back. So I just got back from the post office which is fucking miles away, you know when you get one of those cards and it's like, we missed you, I get those like five times a day, which is irritating. But I got some exciting parcels. The first one is from MOTD, which is a cruelty-free makeup beauty brand based in the US. And they have sent me some things to review for Fashion Fix Daily. Um, they make vegan PETA certified makeup brushes, which is brilliant. I'm big into cruelty-free beauty. We've got a nice bag here. Let's see what's inside. So, we have this little boy. Now I know nothing about makeup, but give me some pretty packaging and I'm all about it. Guessing this is for eyeshadow. What else we got? Mr. Handyman. I like the names. That one was called Pencil It In. This one's Mr. Handyman. Bit of blending. Oh, there's loads in here actually. Maybe I won't unpack them all, but we have literally every brush you could ever need here. Some eyeshadow brushes, ones for blending, ones for applying. Got a teensy weensy eyeliner brush here, which is great because I love doing like eyeliner flicks. That one's called Pickup Line. I love the packaging actually, it's so great. A brow one, just browsing. Miss Shady Lady for the eyeshadow. Eye catch increase for that cut crease. So yeah, really nice brand. Go check them out, MOTD, and I will share my review soon. It's Tuesday, and Tuesday's the day I go to work at the Scotch Design Exchange, which is this massive shop down in Leith here in Edinburgh. They're about to open in Glasgow too, and it's got over 100 different artists, independent fashion designers, textile designers, jewelers, anything you can possibly want and it's not for profit so I do some marketing and some admin uh, work freelance for them so Tuesday is a really busy day for me. So I'm here at the Scottish Design Exchange just giving you a little tour around the fashion floor there is a whole other floor full of art and craft and design and jewellery but here are just a few fashion designers and textile designers yeah I am gonna be here all day so quite a nice area to work in. It's Wednesday, day three of my vlog, and I am outside in the beautiful sunshine today. I've just been doing some bits and bobs of admin, so I've been sitting at screen, so I'm just trying to get outdoors. Tonight I'm going for a lovely dinner with my best friends, so I'm really excited, and to show you what I'm wearing, which is this vintage find I got in a thrift shop in Manchester, so very excited for that. But yeah, bit of a boring day, but here is the beautiful sunshine. This is what I'm wearing tonight. I got it from Oxfam in Manchester and it was like a special Oxfam shop that was like Oxfam originals, so it was all kind of vintage pieces. Not sure what brand it is or anything because it didn't have a label, but just like really weird and quirky and a very strange shape, but I kind of love it. It's like collot trousers so they're a bit cropped so I wore them with sort of high boots here with a bit of a sock heel and then it's got this like paisley-esque crazy sort of ethnic-y design in like lime green and maroon 
and then it's got this bit in the middle where you tie two ties. Originally I thought I had it on backwards, but then it looked weird the wrong way. But yeah, it was like eight pounds. Manchester has the best, the best charity shops and vintage shops. I like, I bought so many things. Hello, happy Thursday. Today I'm having another big admin day, bit hungover after a night out, but I thought I would do just a little vlog about Plastic Free July. So Plastic Free July is a challenge. It's a campaign, it started in Australia a few years ago now, but it seems to have got huge this year. And it's basically, if you follow the hashtag and the challenge itself, it's about reducing your use of single-use plastics throughout the whole month of July, whether that's refusing a plastic straw in a restaurant, bringing your own carrier bags when you go grocery shopping, and just considering how much plastic you use in your day-to-day -day life without even maybe thinking about it. So I thought I would show you a few alternatives to traditional single-use plastic products that you can incorporate in July and throughout the rest of the year too. So first I have this bottle. Now this is a tea infuser bottle from Tempo Tea, which is a sort of bubble tea bar here in Edinburgh and Glasgow. And it's made from glass and it's super insulating, so you can have hot tea or iced tea. And it's got a lovely wooden, I think it's bamboo lid. So obviously it's super sustainable, much better than plastic bottle. I use it for just plain water a lot of the time. But you can also add fruit in there, so you can have like a strawberry and cucumber infused tea, sort of lemon and honey or just water. Then it also has this tea infuser thing, don't know what it's called. You pop your loose leaf tea in here, so I tend to use green tea or things like mint, peppermint, um, basically anything I can find in my local shops which isn't that huge of a choice. But another thing about loose leaf tea is that it's a lot more sustainable and eco-friendly than tea bags because the tea bags obviously go into waste and even though that's biodegradable it's still going into production. So loose leaf tea is actually a lot better for the environment. All you do is pop it in there and then you pour in your hot water or cold water, pop this on. It also has a little sleeve um, to keep your hands um, from being too hot but it's a really useful bottle and I use it all the time. Definitely bring this with me when I can so I don't have to buy a water bottle or even a cup of tea or anything when I'm out. Coffee, again, is a big thing. I am obsessed with Starbucks, which I know is really bad and I should support independent brands, but I just love their chai lattes. And lately Starbucks have been doing this thing where if you bring your own reusable cup, you get like 25p off, which doesn't seem that much, but if you drink as much coffee as I do, it makes a huge difference. I got this lovely hot pink coffee cup from TK Maxx because TK Maxx has like super cheap homewares and things. It's called Mighty Mug because the best part about this, you, put, you pop it down on the table and then you can't knock it over because it sucks the suction cup onto the table. So if you're really clumsy like me, like it's good because you never spill your coffee. And it's just a nice size as well. I don't really like the flasks you get where they have a hole in um, without a lid because then you can't put it in your bag afterwards you're always going to get bits of splash of coffee. So I like this because it's nice and sturdy and secure and it doesn't leak or anything. Now carrier bags is obviously it's something that's improved a lot lately with the 5p charge that's been put in place. People are using a lot less plastic bags but it's still quite easy to forget sometimes to bring your own. Um, and I prefer to bring sort of either tote bags or string bags shopping. And it's not just grocery shopping, it's like clothes shopping and things like that. Um, I bought this the other day, a string bag, and this was from Blue Rinse Vintage in Manchester. And I really like it because it's just really pretty and you might have seen a lot on Instagram and stuff at the moment, people using these, put flowers and fruit in it, it just looks gorgeous. Obviously it's not that great for like small things, but I just really like it, it's super pretty. And then obviously tote bags, um, they vary in like how sustainable they are, depending on how, um, where you get it from and what it's made of. But if you go for a nice like organic cotton tote from a local designer, this one's in code, I got sent, a Scottish designer. And yeah, if you just pop that in your bag, roll up really small, or I just use it as my handbag to fit my laptop in and things like that. I also wanted to mention a few things that I don't have on hand to show you. 
um, alternative to plastic straws. Obviously, the key thing is just to roughly use a straw, but sometimes you might want a straw. Um, and you can now buy metal or silicone straws that you can clean out yourself. Um, you can also get things like cutlery when you get takeaway, you get plastic cutlery. Tell them you don't need the plastic cutlery, or when you're going out to eat somewhere that has plastic cutlery, bring your own. Either your metal stuff from home or get yourself a little kit of like, you can get bamboo ones now. There's all sorts of options. I would recommend Amazon for all this sort of thing. Or you can try Ethical Superstore, which is like an online everything ethical eco shop. Also beeswax wrap. This is something I'm either going to make or buy very soon because I always have a lot of leftovers from cooking and cling film is obviously just pure plastic, doesn't biodegrade, really bad for the environment. So in order to avoid using cling film, you can get these beeswax wraps that are reusable and they're completely natural as well. And finally, mason jars. So these are like little glass jars to use instead of Tupperware and sort of plastic takeaway boxes and things like that. One more thing before I go. I just received a beautiful package from Armed Angels. Armed Angels is an ethical fashion brand and they just launched a concession in John Lewis in Edinburgh. So I went along to like the press launch last week. They have some amazing stuff. It's really affordable and their whole thing is that it's making fashion fair. So they're paying a fair wage and they're being fair to the environment too. First off with the packaging, it came in a box which was made from grass. So it looked like cardboard, but it was made from grass, which I think is so cool. And the sort of plastic packaging around it was 100% recycled plastic as well. So it fits with the theme. And I received this dress. It's like an oversized knitted dress, kind of midi length. And it's got this beautiful brick print on it in sort of coral, black and a hot pink as well, a sort of fuchsia. And I love the white outline as well, it just makes it a lot more of a bold print. It's got a nice short sleeve and it's knitted so I probably won't be wearing it when the weather's this nice because it's still like 25 degrees. Um, but I'm going to do a blog post with me wearing this when the weather's more appropriate. But I'm really excited about that because it's sort of something you can dress up or dress down. Um, and it's 100% organic cotton. So definitely check out Armed Angels if you're looking for an ethical fashion brand. And if you're here in Edinburgh, pop to John Lewis. It's really great that they are supporting sort of emerging brands as well. Happy Friday, it's another beautiful day. And today I'm going charity shopping with Honestly Millie, who's another fab ethical fashion blogger here in Edinburgh. I'm wearing a dress that just arrived this morning from Modernation, which is an ethical fashion brand in the US. And what's cool about it is that it's a four way dress, in fact, five ways, so it's multi purpose. This is the second way to wear it, so it's basically completely backwards from the way before. This is look number three. It's the same as the first look, but completely reversed, and it's sort of a beigey grey fabric on the inside. And again, it looks totally normal because there's no labels or anything. And this is the final way to wear it. So it's the beigey grey side, worn backwards. It looks quite nice at the back with like a low V, I think. And I like this sort of slash boat neck at the front. It's Saturday and I'm here in my Armed Angels dress that I unboxed the other day um, from John Lewis. Armed Angels is a really great brand and I'm loving this. It's like organic cotton so even though it's um, knitted it's actually really breathable and it's like it's warm today so it's good. I'm here with Lynn from uh, Lynn Wilson from Circular Economy Wardrobe. She is like an expert in all things circular economy and zero waste and sustainable when it comes to fashion and design. She's doing a PhD on it, she has a consultancy, she does great talks. We're gonna do a YouTube video about everything she does for another time as well, because she's a fascinating woman. We're doing some photography today for her website, Circular Economy Wardrobe. So yeah, busy day. It's Sunday, and it's finally the last day of my vlog. Um, I'm sorry, it turned out to be so much longer than I thought it would. Um, Next time I need to make sure that I stay concise. But I think it's been good because I feel like I've been stuck in a bit of a creative rut lately. So it sort of pushed me to remember to create some content like every day, no matter what. Um, so I've enjoyed it and I might do it again. We'll see. But I, I hope you've enjoyed it. And please let me know what you think in the comments if you have or if you haven't. Um, and remember to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.